Hi, welcome to this episode of Jab Score Tech. I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Paul Campania. And today we're talking about diaphragm pumps and dampeners. What's the deal? Yeah, so what we've seen in some installations and out in the field is a condition called very rapid cycling. Mm -hmm. And what this is, is the pump is operating very close to its shutoff pressure, and that can cause the pressure switch to operate really fast and go on and off. And what this can potentially do is cause a failure to the pump. Yep. So if you're unsure if your pump's running in, under normal conditions or very rapid cycling condition, check out our other video and we show you both. Um, and if it is in that normal, that the very rapid cycling condition, um, we just need to swap out the dampener. Uh, the dampener is a little piece of uh, plastic that goes behind that pressure switch. And what that's going to do is it's going to alleviate some of the stress on that pressure switch. So uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay, Mike. So, as always, safety is first. Yep, safety is number one. Uh, for a high voltage pump, 110, 230 volt, uh, please do not work on this pump and contact the factory. Yep. Um, 12, 24, and 32, those are yep, acceptable. They are. Just disconnect the power on those. Um, you know, remove the fuse, disconnect the power. Also, drain any pressure or fluid from the pump. And talking about fluids, we want to make sure if this pump pumps chemicals, um, make sure you're wearing your gloves, your yep. face mask, apron, um, goggles, all the safety precautions. Um, also, prep your area if, if, in case you're using chemicals. Um, and at the very end, decontaminate your tools and your work area. Um, what about if it's a water system pump? If it's a fresh water system, um, we need to sanitize the system to make sure there's no uh, chemicals bacteria, in there or yeah. bacteria that, that you've been working on on a, uh, on a, on a water pump. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. Should we show them the videos? Sure, sounds good. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. We're going to um, swap out the, uh, the dampener and the pressure switch. We're going to need a couple of tools a Phillips head screwdriver and a pick or a small flat blade screwdriver. First of all, let uh, Mike please disconnect the power. Okay. And then we'll drain the uh, pump from the f with the fluid, get the fluid out of there. All the pressure's relieved. Pressure's out. And we're going to have a paper towel here just so we can uh, catch any residual fluid. Okay, first of all, let's get those two screws out of the pressure switch. Okay, that's that, and just in there is what we're going to remove. So we can try to push on one side and get the pick underneath it. Okay, there we go. And there's more fluid coming out, so that's what we're removing. And we're putting the the new one in. So let's put that in. And then you can push it in with your fingers. That one back there on top, you can feel a nice smooth fit. Okay, and then push the screws back through a little bit so you can line them up with the holes for the pressure switch. Okay, there's one started, second one started, and then screw them up evenly so it pulls it all up nice and flat on the head of the pump. And then finally, do the screws up to 15 inch pounds. And there we go, we have just replaced that dampener. So check this out, we're going to go ahead and show you how to swap out the dampener in the triplex head pump. It's a triangle head. So we're going to go ahead and pull off these two screws. Now make sure you put your uh, little bit of pressure on the, on the pressure switch. There is a little spring behind it. So there's going to be four things, four parts you're going to need to be concerned about. The damper, the diaphragm, the spring, and uh, the poppet. So pull this off. See if there's the dampener and the diaphragm. We'll go off to one side. Now here's the old there's the diaphragm. Here's the old dampener. Now over, oh, the little spring caught it. Um, inside, right there, you can see the little poppet. And that poppet actually, po that poppet post fits right into there. 
So what I'll do is I'll put the spring over the poppet, kind of holds it in place, and then that little tower right there that goes right at the five o'clock position. There we go. The diaphragm goes the bump goes towards the motor. Pressure switch goes right over it again. Kind of hard you guys kind of swing it in. Line it up. Stay. Now put it in, but not all the way. Just want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room to set the uh, the other screw. That goes in. And these get tightened down to about 15 inch pounds. And you're good to go. Go ahead and test your system and you should be all set. Well, that was pretty cool, Paul. We showed yep. the customer how to swap out the dampener and some of our diaphragm pumps. Um, key takeaways. Uh, a couple of great videos there, Mike, but the main Key takeaways, always stay safe. Uh, if you have high voltage, just please contact the factory and do not work on that pump. Mm -hmm. And then the lower voltage, please disconnect the, uh, the power. Um, also drain the pump of any fluids and mm -hmm. pressure that may be inside the pump. Now the other takeaway is, is this doesn't affect our newer pumps. This is only for our older pumps. If you want to find a listing of some of, our, of the pumps that are affected, um, give the factory a call and uh, we'll go ahead and send you out the bulletin. The bulletin lists all the part numbers. Um, so if you have any concerns, questions, give us a call. Feel free to. Um, I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Paul Campania. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Japsco Tech. We'll talk to you soon.